So the important thing to get the test started is to uh, actually get to a site because it's a uh, site based test not a uh, laboratory based test. So here we are in a site in Derbyshire and uh, we're just about ready to start the test. So the first thing you need is a reaction load and in this example we're using a, a very large dumper sometimes called a moxie and the intent is to use the rear axle here as a reaction load to push the plate into the ground. So the first thing we need to do is to prepare the ground. Uh, we've got a nice flat surface but we need to use some bedding sand to put underneath the plate so the entire surface area of the plate is in contact with the ground. So we don't fill any holes in with natural material and we have a bed of sand which is very very thin just filling those voids. So now we have a nice flat area ready to receive the plate. So down the plate goes with a circular motion, toing or throwing again to make sure that the entire plate is in contact with the surface of the soil. Now this is a 600 mil plate we're using here. We can use different sizes. This one will give a zone of influence under the plate of about 1.2 meters, which is what the client requires for these tests. So next we add a stiffening plate in the centre of the bearing plate. And then we have our load cell on next. Again, placed in the centre of the stiffening plate. Now that will measure up to 100 kilonewtons, 10 tonnes, with an accuracy of 0.1 of a kilonewton. Then we add a couple of spacers. Now the jack. We pop the jack under there. The spacers are too high, so I need to swap them. Or some smaller ones. So we pop that one there, that on top, let's see how we're looking. And that's hanging plumb. So as you can see we now have the uh, hydraulic pump and jack load cell assembly in place and the readout unit somewhere around there. So now we need to put the datum bar in place with the dial gauges on which will measure the settlement of the plate. So this is my two meter long datum bar with the dial gauges already attached. And I'll put that roughly into position and then I'll move the dial gauges to get them all nesting neatly on top of the plate. So we have the three dial gauges in position spread across the plate like that and the test is just about ready to start now. We just wait for everything to settle down and we can begin the first loading increment. Right so uh, this is one of the gauges, one of three and they're all zeroed and we're ready to start the test. So we're at our first load of 5 kilonewtons, which will now leave until the settlement virtually ceases and then we'll increase it to 10 as per our client's specification on this job. So we've applied the second load increment, we're at 10 kilonewtons now and we're just monitoring the settlement and then writing it down here. So to move up to the next increment we just use this hydraulic ram, or jack I should say until we get 
the required level on that loadout. And you can see there how the, uh, the uh, jack has risen as it's lifting the uh, reaction load up and pushing the plate into the ground. All seems well on the final increment. Five we've done. Oh, and I forgot to mention, of course, we are timing the test each increment and we note down the time that it starts and finishes. And after all the increments, uh, there's no unloading requirement on this test, so that's the, that's the end of the test. All we need to do now is just release the load and disassemble the equipment. So let's let the load off. Piston begins to fall. Hopefully it'll start to drop out and there it comes. And that's it. And now just to relax and enjoy the wonderful Derbyshire countryside. Oh and uh, just time for a quick selfie. <laughs>